Well, a learning to talk is a short five to six minute talk that a learning to leader or others will give to send out their message they'd like to say. So we don't have a big keynote, we just have our learning to talks. And our first learning to talk is Carrie Zimmer, who is also the co-chair, co-lead for um, Learning to Milan, working closely with Stephen. Carrie? Let's see, make sure I follow my directions. Stand between the banners. Okay, let's see. So how many of you have seen the musical Wicked? Let's see some hands. Got to know what kind of crowd I'm dealing with tonight. All right, good. Got some supporters out there, I think. So those that know me well know that I have a bit of an obsession with this amazing piece of musical theater. I've seen Wicked a few times. It's definitely less than 10, but how many exactly? I've lost count. There's just always been something about this musical that has drawn me to it. But what is it? It's that I love the story behind the story. Wicked tells the story of Elphaba, the Wicked Witch of the West from The Wizard of Oz. Elphaba always had struggled to fit in in Oz. She thought differently from everyone, and she certainly looked different as well. Glinda always wanted Elphaba to be popular, but Elphaba decided to follow her heart and take her own path in her future, which didn't happen to be a yellow brick road or an easy path to her future. So when I think of Elphaba's redefinition, I, think I consider myself. How did I become the person I am today? And how did I become the teacher I am today? Elphaba redefined herself using her emotions and her experiences, and that's how she took her path forward. Every year, I find myself looking back and reflecting on my own emotions and experiences, struggles and successes, and using those as I move forward. I discovered since moving abroad that when I was in the States, Iowa had become content in my own discontent. So I wonder how I become the person I want to be tomorrow. And how do I become the teacher I want to be tomorrow? When I think of myself teaching, I have an image in my mind. So what image do you have in your mind when you're teaching? I'd like you to visualize it. Does it look something like this? Or maybe it's something more like this. But for me, my image looks a little different. This is what I think of. As teachers, I think this is our challenge to push forward, to try new things, and to recognize that the things that we've always done and the way we've done it doesn't have to be the only way. Dr. Ruben Puntadora's model for classroom redesign is not new, but it's yet to have been fully realized here in Europe by teachers here. So the SAMR model is designed to help teachers bring technology and learning into their classrooms. The goal is to transform learning and increase student achievement as you move towards redefinition. So let's ask ourselves a few questions. Are you uploading your documents and worksheets online and calling yourself paperless? Are you, you having your students create PowerPoints that are only shared within your classroom walls? Are you still buying textbooks? Or are you using social media tools to help your students curate their own textbooks and content for your course? Or are you using 
uh, blogs as a platform, as an authentic platform for communication amongst your students? Or are you active on social media, building and creating your own content that you're sharing back with the world? When I moved overseas, it was a huge risk for me. It was not something my family was really supportive of. They thought I was a little crazy. And it was a big risk. It took beyond the limits of my family's mindset. Redefining yourself, your classroom, and your life is definitely challenging. And you might fail. And you might hurt your ego. But you might find yourself having fun. You might find yourself learning new things. And you might find yourself discover that being content in your own comfortable is no longer enough. The theme of this conference is engage, empower, evolve. Are you ready for this redesign? Are you ready to evolve? I've been watching this guy, Casey Neistat, on YouTube for the past nine months or so. With over 2.6 million followers, this filmmaker has revitalized and redesigned his career by creating daily vlogs of his life. I find him incredibly inspiring. Each day, he challenges himself to try new things, to push forward, do more, and be a better person. And like Casey, this is what I want for myself. I want to take risks and accept challenges. And as a teacher, I want to climb to new heights and have the faith, confidence, and belief in taking that leap. That is me, rappelling down a castle. So, do you ask yourself to be, do you ask your students to be the best every day? And if you do that, do you first ask the same of yourself? Alphaba chose her own path and found herself defying gravity. Casey Neistat has redefined his career by using a new platform. And I've discovered happiness in a new life I never knew existed. Your future is unlimited. So who will you be tomorrow? Thank you. <laughs>